Praxis. I met yesterday on site with the person that's doing the lumber delivery. We met in the morning when the ground was still kind of frozen up and he said, this looks pretty good. I think that we could probably get our truck in here fine. Uh, and then he looked into it and the town has shut down that road. So he can't pass over the road, even though he feels that, you know, because it has been cold, it is icing down, he feels comfortable with it. The town's closed the road down. So uh, that's where we are at the moment. Uh, we are uh, looking into maybe having a smaller load on a smaller truck come in just to get us going. Uh, but at the moment, we still don't have our foundation in. So we're trying to get the foundation in. I, you know, it's a whole other thing with the, with the concrete truck, trying to get down that road. Uh, the, the town road manager uh, was saying it might be you know, a week and a half, two weeks or so before the road dries out enough to really get heavy trucks in there. So we'll see how it goes. But if it starts going, you know, Beyond that, I, we can always bring in the stuff on a smaller truck. But in the meantime, in, instead of just kind of sitting around doing nothing for that, I have been getting some other things ready. Down over here, you see kind of, well, there's piles everywhere, but in particular, I'll direct your attention to the pile of stuff right down over here. I've been pre-buying a lot of stuff. There was a discount coupon, 10% off, that I got in the mail just out of the blue for a local hardware store, uh, which I would be going to anyway. And I figured, well, you know, I might as well use this 10% off coupon. And it was good for up to $200 off, which means $2,000. And I tried to spend as much as I possibly could to get as much, you know, on discount as I possibly could. And I, I think I, I spent about $1,600 on a lot of things. And some of them are right here. One of them is Romex wire for wiring up the house. Last time I did my other house, I kept buying it in small rolls, small rolls. And I... Ultimately, I ended up buying like a whole giant uh, spool of it. So I figured, well, why don't I just buy the spool this time? Be done with it. It'll be a discount because it's on the spool. Plus, you know, I got it all for 10% off. I bought other things that I know I'm going to be needing. Uh, in this big box over here, I bought the electrical panel for down uh, in, in the utility room. On top of it, I got a bunch of electrical breakers, things that I know that I'm going to be using. Uh, underneath that is the slate tile for the uh, the bathroom in there. You know, again, things that I know that I'm going to be needing. I bought uh, you know a few other things that aren't in here. I, I bought some uh, heavy gauge wire for the solar panels and just essentially went after anything that I knew that I was going to need to buy. Get it now at a 10% off discount. That's one of the great things about being into prepping and preparedness is that you're kind of thinking ahead about where you're going to be, what you're going to need in the future, and try to satisfy those needs in a way that, well, like, you know, you're not buying cold medicine in the middle of cold season. You're not buying an N95 respirator mask in the middle of wildfire season. You know, you get things at a discount when you buy them ahead of time when it's not an emergency. So that's what I've been trying to do, and I'm storing it here in this small shed uh, at Regular House. That's it. Hopefully we're going to have some developments coming soon on the actual house. But in the meantime, getting ready, getting prepped to get going. Thanks for watching.